Oh, guys, this has not <laughs> been the greatest week for me. Um, I actually had a launch this week and it was definitely one of the more stressful launches that I've had. We had a lot of tech stuff go wrong. Um, a lot of things get missed and the power actually went out two hours before the webinar and it all worked out. Um, I had to quickly drive into town, go to my sister-in-law's house um, where she had internet. And I'm very lucky that she's always very cool when I do things like that. Um, but it was a lot this week and I felt so overwhelmed, like probably the most overwhelmed that I've felt in a very long time in my business. And maybe you can relate to this feeling of being overwhelmed. Um, I think it's very normal as a business over, a business over, a business owner uh, to feel really overwhelmed. And you know, when we're feeling overwhelmed, like how do we actually shift ourselves out of it? And so I was thinking this week that there's probably a lot of people who feel like me. So uh, in this video, I really wanted to show you what I do. So there's actually four things that I do. Well, that was three, but this is four what's going on here, four things. Um, I wanna show you the four things that I do when I'm feeling really overwhelmed and how I sort of get myself um, out of that overwhelmed state. I find it helpful to just shift my environment, you know? Um, sometimes when you get overwhelmed and you're just stuck in the same space, it just, you just can't shift yourself out of it. So for me, it always helps to just walk outside. And I think most people can walk outside or at least move into a different room and just shift the environment you're in because sometimes it just takes moving out. And, you know, I'm really lucky I live in this very beautiful, I'm trying not to slip on the ice right now. It's a little slippery out here. Um, you know, I live in this really natural, I live on top of a mountain. I don't have many neighbors and I have lots of access to nature. And I'm really grateful for that because I feel so connected and so spiritual when I am in nature, um, even if it's just on my property. And when I'm feeling overwhelmed, I find, you know, it's simple and maybe a bit obvious, but just, walking outside and breathing the fresh air and going for a walk up the street even, you know, not even going anywhere fancy, just looking at the sky. And I really like to um, come outside without a podcast because I'm very, very easily want to just put in a podcast and consume my mind. Um, I love consuming content that way, but I also find that's a bit distracting. And I find um, I will feel more connected and more grounded if I go outside without music and just breathe and be present and look at what's around me and look at all these beautiful trees and nature around me and just feel connected to something bigger and to the earth. So I find, again, it's simple, but it's very powerful for me to just shift my environment. If I'm in my office, my monkey brain is going fucking off and it's just spinning and spinning and spinning. I just need to walk away and it feels so therapeutic and healing to me to just walk outside, close the door and just walk out into nature. So that I find personally is very powerful and that's always for the most part where I start. All right, so I have gone outside, I've shifted my environment and to be honest, sometimes that is enough for me. Sometimes it just takes going outside, getting some fresh air, going for a little bit of a light walk, getting that light exercise and sometimes I'm good. But if after I come back from my walk, I'm still feeling just super overwhelmed, what I do is what I like to call the angry journaling exercise. And maybe you've done this before, but basically I open up my journal to a blank page and I write down every single thing that I'm feeling frustrated about, angry about, overwhelmed about, literally all the craziness going on in this brain, I put onto paper. And to be honest, if you went through this journal, you would think I'm a pretty fucking negative person, but that's just the way I kind of pull 
all the sort of negativity and anger and frustration and overwhelm out of my body and I put it on to paper. So I do that for as long as it takes. Sometimes I'm journaling for 15, 20, even 30 minutes, or sometimes I only do it for five. It really depends on how much I've got going on in this crazy brain of mine. And so I do it until I feel good. I do it until I feel like I have successively like vomited everything out from my brain and on to the paper. Okay, so once I have got everything out on paper, I have spent as much time as I needed, anger vomiting, everything I need onto paper, I take the journal and I rip, I rip all those pages out, as many as I have. And then what I do is I light this motherfucker up. I actually put it in the fire because there's something that is so therapeutic about seeing all my frustration that I've just regurgitated onto paper and then burning it. It's just, I don't know, there's something about it that I really love. And so if you don't have a fireplace like me, you could potentially go into your backyard and burn it into like a tin can or something like that, or onto concrete. And if that's not available to you, you could actually just go flush it down the toilet because there's something about that that feels kind of therapeutic as well. So burn it or flush it. Okay, so now I have shifted my energy by going outside, getting in touch with nature, connecting to the earth. Then I do my angry <laughs> journaling exercise and burn that thing. The next thing I do if I'm still feeling overwhelmed is I color. And I've actually just recently gotten to coloring, but I found it to be just super therapeutic and very relaxing. And it actually helps me express the sort of more creative side of me that I really haven't found an outlet for other than the business. Like I'm very creative in the content and what I do in the business, but um, outside of business, I've struggled to find something. And I really like the coloring book because the coloring kind of in the lines gives me that uh, expression of feminine energy and getting to kind of choose and, and be creative and kind of go with what intuitively feels like is gonna be, what it's gonna look nice, but it's within this sort of masculine container of the line. So I really appreciate that. And I love this coloring book. So it's got some really beautiful um, designs that I've colored. I feel like a kid showing you my coloring book, but honestly, like I love all these designs so much. And then this is the one that I am, working on right now, you know, I kind of want to put it on the fridge, but I've really enjoyed coloring. Um, highly recommend this book or any other sort of adult coloring book. And um, yeah, I've just found it, it's very relaxing, uh, helps me de-stress and just helps me focus on something besides all the crazy shit going on in my head. All right, so we have shifted our energy by walking outside. We've journaled the shit out of our feelings and we have put it in the fire or burnt it in some way, shape or form, or put it down the toilet if that's all you can do. We've colored, which really helps me reduce anxiety and that sort of thing. And the final thing I do is I do breath work. So if all those things don't work, I don't always do this, but this is like the fourth thing that I'll add in when I really need it. And you guys may be familiar with Wim Hof. He is the guy who holds the world record for, I believe being in ice for the longest. And he's really into this breath work and he has this style. And his brother, Marcel Hoff, also has his own style of breath work. So, you know, very interesting family, but I got into Marcel Hoff's breath work um, and he has a course and it's relatively inexpensive, I believe. So I will link to that. Um, in the description of this video, but basically I got into this in March of last year and it's really been a big game changer, not only for energy, but also just helping me get back into my body. So you might be like me and have this crazy monkey brain that is, well, it just never shuts the fuck up, right? And so just shifting that and getting out of my brain and into my body can really squash like a panic attack, um, overwhelm or stress on the spot and so, I've done this regularly and that is what I will do if I really just can't shift it with the other things is I will do the breath work. And I also find just having a regular uh, practice of breath work also just sort of preventatively helps me with stress and overwhelm. Um, and I just wanna let you know that I'm not an expert on breath work. Um, I'm not a facilitator. Um, so definitely, you know, look into it, check with all the people you need to check with to make sure that it's the right fit for you. I know there's certain types of people that breath work is not gonna be a great fit for. Um, and there's all different types of breath work. The stuff that Marcel Hoff has taught me is, is pretty mellow. There's not gonna be any like crazy hallucinating happening. You can do that with other types of breath work, but I just find 
this is a really great thing for people who have a monkey brain and who are constantly spinning in their head. You know, as an online business owner, I'm always strategizing. I've always got stuff going on in my head. And so the breath work has been really helpful for that um, to just quiet the mind and get me back into my body. So that is the final thing I will do in order to shift, um, shift that negative, stressful, overwhelmed energy that I get sometimes. And ultimately we all get. All right. So that is what I do when I feel incredibly stressed and overwhelmed and I just can't seem to shift myself out of it. So I hope you found that helpful and you know, maybe this won't all work for you. You know, take what makes sense for you. Take what feels aligned. You can leave the rest. Um, we're all different. And in the end, you got to find the strategy that works best for you. And it might look different than what works for me. But the truth is we don't have control over much in this world as much as we like to think we do. But what we do have control over is our own thoughts and our own experience. And I find these tips just really help me own that experience and just quiet my mind because in the end, if we cannot shift ourselves out of overwhelm and stress, it is just gonna hurt us and those around us. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to like it. Let me know that I'm on track with this content. Leave me a comment. I do come back and check all my contents. You can also subscribe or share it with someone you will help. Thanks so much for tuning in. And I hope you too can shift that overwhelm and feel a little bit more calm.